As you saw there, I um, took the uh, the wing and I rounded over the uh, corner. You could leave it, you know, sharp if you liked it. I like to round it over. And then I pocketed the servo um, right here. Now, if you have a smaller servo, it would be better to put it up here in front of these um, spar locations. But I had a big servo I wanted to use. Now I'm just going to hot glue it on, hot glue the servo in there, get the extensions put in there. You can see over here, I've already done that other side. So I'm just gonna do the same and then I will come back and I'll talk about doing the spars once I get to that. Okay, so in the kit, you're gonna find four of these two millimeter 72 inch kite rods. Uh, you wanna sand them first. You'll also wanna have your hot glue gun warmed up because we're gonna be putting a lot of hot glue out. Actually, if you have two hot glue guns, I would recommend having them both going. And again, remember they need to be on low. Now, this one in the back is pretty easy. It's pretty, it's just straight across. But the one at the top, we have some kind of sharp bends. And you can see I've already uh, put it about as tight as I feel doing it. I have this arch. So I'm gonna have to cut that out with a razor blade. Um, it's also doesn't completely make um, it all the way across. These curves make it more than 72 inches. So I would just come in about an inch on one side and then just kind of walk it through all the bins that you're gonna be doing. And then let's just see where that comes out over here. Yeah, so, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if, if you wanna measure and find the exact center and put that right there. Now, the process that I like to do is to squeeze and some hot glue about this long. You know, it's about the length of, you know, my thumb to my pinky, somewhere in there. It's not really that big a deal. And I'll start down here and I'll squeeze that glue in. And then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna push this down and I'm gonna push it down and then I'm gonna smear it. And I'm gonna let that set. Then I'm gonna come back here and do the same thing. Do a length of glue in there, push it down, smear it. If there's any place where it looks like it didn't get smeared on top, I'll come back and I'll smear that again. I just use my fingers, but you can use um, an ID card, whatever you want. Then once that's set, I'll come back and you can pull, you can kind of lift this up and put the nose of the uh, glue gun and just squeeze it in there. There's probably gonna be a tiny little spot where it doesn't get underneath. It's fine. Do another section push it down, smear it, come back over the top if I need to smear that. And basically I'm gonna work my way all the way down. Uh, one tip is when you get to possible problem areas, which are gonna be these sharp turns, stop your glue right before you get the turn and let that really cool down and set. That way when you come and you bend it around that turn, it won't have any problems staying behind it. 
And then you may also want to just hold that for a little bit longer since you are having a lot of force on it, especially with this bend here, you're gonna wanna do this section right here, do this turn, and then just hold that, make sure it cools down. So that's it, it's pretty simple. Do that top and bottom. Um, also, don't worry about any hot glue kind of sticking up like a large bump. When we come by later, when we're doing the covering with the hot glue gun, it's gonna smooth all that stuff out. So let's get the time-lapse going. Mm -hmm. 